Hey guys, welcome back. Happy International Women's Day today. I'm so excited. I love supporting women. Um, anything that celebrates women, Mother's Day, their birthday, is just amazing. So happy International Women's Day. What did you do for yourself today? I went and bought um, the e.l.f. mint collection. It's all over TikTok. It's just, yeah. So I thought I would. I mean, why not try it? I, I absolutely love the mint green color. It's like one of my favorites. So, and I've been eyeing it for a while and I was just like, I don't know. I've never tried any e.l.f. eyeshadows or any other brushes. I have tried and like the e.l.f. Pore Putty. Poreless Putty Primer, sorry, and it's fantastic and I love that. So I got excited and I went and um, purchased that line. Uh, but if you are new here, welcome. My name is Dagny. I don't believe I said that yet. Uh, if you're new and haven't subscribed, please do so. And yeah, so let's get into it. Today I thought we would do some fun makeup. I bought, I <laughs> went a little bit crazy at Shoppers yesterday. Um, and then went and got a bunch of Maybelline stuff. I got um, their Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, the Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Normal to Dry, nor so Normal to Oily, oh if I can speak today, no Normal to Oily, oh my goodness. It's been one of those days. I have like a million files open in my head and it feels like nothing is going right and I'm so frustrated I didn't know what to do and like I didn't know where to start and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do my makeup. We're just gonna do some makeup. <laughs> we're gonna go from there. And we're just gonna close those files for like a few minutes. Cause holy, what a day. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna try these out. And I also picked up the new Tattoo Studio. I meant to grab the, just the pencil, but I was in a rush. And ended up with the Tattoo Studio Brow um, Tint Pen. So we're gonna try that today. Um, I have purchased the Sky High Popular Mascara quite some time ago now. Uh, it, was a few, it was a few weeks ago when it first became like crazy popular. So I have this one. I really, really do love it. It is a really good mascara. Sold out everywhere, by the way. Um, it's online. It's sold out. Like it's just, it's, it's insane. Companies do not prepare for this kind of stuff when something goes actually viral. And then I also picked up their Great Lash Mascara. Okay, y'all, this one was the original, like, OG, like, the, the best mascara back in the day. Um, it is really cheap, but it's still really good. And so we're going to compare today. I want to see what the Great Lash to the Sky High Mascara um, compares to. I believe... Yeah, they're both voluminous mascara, so let's see if uh, Maybelline did get any better with it. And then I also picked up the Maybelline Ultimate um, Lipstick Stick. This is in the color More Taupe. Really excited to try it. It's really, really pretty color. Very neutrally. And last but not least, I thought I would try out a wing liner. Okay, I suck at that. So I've got my Pro Defense because it's got a black eyeshadow in it. So we're going to start off with that and use that to try and help me because I suck at it. But okay, I now that we have you zoomed in and I got my headband on, which is the one that I have purchased recently. Actually, no, I got it for free. I didn't purchase it. It was from Sephora. I've been loving this because it's really tight, holds my hair back while I do my makeup, and I'm super, super duper pumped. Um, I want to start off, well, I already started off with primer. We did, um, I did a little bit of this one which is the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer, step one. And then I did a little bit of the e.l.f. too around my nose and stuff. Because I have like, I have crazy pores. Don't look too close. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we're going to start off with some cover up. Oh, good point. They don't have a pump. I really wish it did. Um, but yeah, I hear it's great. So we're going to give it a shot today. I'm picky. So I will let you know my honest opinion. And I'm gonna just use a kabuki brush. And it's supposed to have a medium, I think it's just a medium. Or is it medium to full coverage? One or the other, I can't remember. So we'll test that out today and see what it looks like. This, this, that's kind of annoying. 
Why does it not have a pump? I don't know. Well, I'm liking the color. <laughs> I suck at picking out shades for myself. And I had the lady um, at the store help me. And she did a good job. I'm loving, yeah, I'm really liking the shade match. I mean, I've got like a lot of red undertone. A lot, actually. <laughs> That's crazy. To see the difference, woo! And, but it's covering up, so that's nice. I also have, I've been using for like forever, the, the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is from Maybelline too, and I absolutely love it, so we're gonna use that again today. Oh, Heads up dumping this. It comes out crazy fast sometimes. And I now may have a little too much. <laughs> Wow, you guys, I haven't tried a drugstore foundation in, like, years. Like, I have my concealer, that's from the drugstore, but I haven't tried a foundation because I honestly wasn't sure what to use. I mean, there were so many out there, it was kind of overwhelming, so it was kind of just looking at reviews online, and then I saw this one come up, and, like, everybody's using it, and everybody says it's fant fantastic, and you know what? It really is. This, like, this is amazing coverage. I can't believe I got this from a drugstore, a drugstore foundation. I think I spent like $7 on this. And we've got amazing coverage. I mean, look at my chest compared to my face. This is how my <laughs> face used to look not so much anymore. And I am absolutely in love with it. All right, now we're gonna go in with some concealer. I love this concealer. I've been using it for quite some time. I love the twist, I love the application, I love the coverage on it, it's just absolutely amazing. Wow, just absolutely wow. Went ahead and put some on my eyes too. Now I feel fully, fully covered, I feel very white, so now we need to put some color back onto me. Okay, let's do some brows. Let's try this tattoo pen out. I have never, have I used a pen? No, I use mostly um, pencils. I have a palette I use every once in a while. Woo! Oh, that's kind of cool. Gives you a little line. So let's see how this, uh, how this turns out, hopefully in my favor. <laughs> It's okay. I guess it does give you. I mean, <laughs> compare the brows here. I should have went with a darker color though. I usually like to go with a light because I don't like to fade it in. I don't like to like bam my brows, you know what I mean? All right, what do we think? I don't know if I really like the pen. Really wish I would've grabbed the pencil like I, would, I meant to. That's okay. All in the name of beauty, gotta try new things out, right? All right, let's go in with some setting powder. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it's been a long time since I opened a new setting powder. I forgot about these stupid plasticky, sticky things on it. Wow. That's interesting. That looks amazing. Why have I not tried this out before? Wow. Can you all see it? It looks great. I'm really sad I haven't tried this out before. I think I said that too just recently with another product, didn't I? Morphe, yes, because I love their palette. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do it. We are gonna do the wing eyeliner. I got my Pur Defense, this is the first <laughs> palette I picked up that had a black in it so I was practicing earlier this morning because I was like you know what I want to play with some makeup okay so we're gonna do outline it with a black eyeshadow because it makes it a little bit easier hopefully I can do this without messing it up and then I'm gonna put on some color I think a little bit of pink I'm feeling pinkish today and then we're gonna test out the mascaras I'm super super excited for that Guys, 
<laughs> my first wing turned out not so bad. Yay! Hopefully the second one is good too. That makes me happy. Okay, the second wing, not too bad. Is this supposed to go up more? I don't know. I'm going with it. <laughs> All right, these are definitely sisters, not twins, y'all. <laughs> They're not matching, but that's quite all right. Now we're gonna go in with some pink color. I'm using the new Oprah palette we got in the BoxyCharm. I am in love with this palette. It is freaking gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go with this pink color though. I mean, it's supposed to be for blush, but I'm, I'm feeling it today. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'm loving, loving it. Just like a light pink color. It's fantastic. I think I just poked myself in the eye. Ah, guys, it's superb. Freaking love it. Just what I was feeling like today. Just enough to like break my mood a little bit and make me forget the millions of files in my head. <laughs> All right, now let's go in with the black eyeliner. I'm using NARS. I'm too scared to use a liquid and mess this up. So we're gonna use NARS and we're gonna go <laughs> very slowly. <clears throat> All right, the first one is done. I did mess it up a little, but not too bad. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, so far not too bad. Okay, I did mess this eye up a little bit. Suck with eyeliner, y'all, I really do. Should have picked one with a thicker head. Or a thinner, not thicker. I mean, uh, eyeliner. Goodness, the words would just come out today. All right, it's not too bad. Maybe it's horrible. I don't know. I suck with wing eyeliner. But practice makes perfect, right? Is that the saying? I think it is. I'm gonna throw on some bronzer. Ooh, y'all. I forgot there was a bronzer in here and I haven't tried it yet. All right, I went into with the same <laughs> color, the blush, um, that I put on my eyes, on my cheeks, and I put on some highlight. I like never do highlight. I'm just feeling all sorts of adventurous today. But I'm pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to do winged eyeliner. Doesn't matter. It's on my face now, right? I think you're supposed to go up more. I don't know. <laughs> I really need to practice makeup better or more. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, let's go in with mascara. And then we'll do the lip colors. All right, got to curl the eyelashes. Let's do this side first. Oh wait, I pinched it. Ugh. It has been one of those days. And you know what, I woke up today and my brows were driving me crazy. Like it just felt like, I don't even know, it was like a thick or something. Oh, it is going to be one of those days. Oh my goodness, look at the cute little classic wand. So tiny, so cute. By the way, don't pump your mascara. That just puts air in it. Just a little tip. Just take it in and swirl. All right, let's do this. Oh, and tilt your mirror high, so you look down. It's been a while since I used this mascara. Now I remember why I love it so much. I love the small wand. I love the length it gives to my lashes. Oh, why haven't I picked this up and used it in a while? I don't know. Too much else to try. I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight other mascaras open, y'all. I'm never going to get those used up before they expire. All right, that is the first eye. Super duper pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is with the Great Lash. Now let's try it against the new Sky High Mascara on this side. Go ahead and curl first. So if you haven't checked out this mascara yet, this is what this one looks like. It's uh, thinner at this side and taper, so it tapers down. 
and it's really nice. It's supposed to be a voluminous mascara too. I like the wand on this one also. And I just stab myself in the eye. It's gonna be one of those days. And then I got it on my nose. Woosa, that's my brother. Used to say, still says to me sometimes when I'm like freaking out. Woosa, Dagny, woosa. Oh, okay, but honestly, they're like the exact same. <laughs> Both mascaras are freaking great. Okay, I changed my mind. This one's definitely the better one. These ones are definitely a little bit thicker. Same length though. But yeah, this one made it a little bit more, a little bit more thicker. I can't even think of the words. My goodness, my brain. Okay. Let's do the bottom lash and then move on to the lippy. Okay, I'm super happy. Either way, I still love this mascara. Even though this one is better. But this one, like, try and find it in the store. Anywhere near me, not available. Okay, lippy. So this one is a new, I think it's a new style, but I have been using, if I can find them, the Maybelline Super Stay. Oh! Okay, so I just went out of focus. Cool. I've been using these for quite some time too. These are amazing. I love them. So I thought giving this a try would be fun. So, yeah. I'm liking this one better. I think I like the stick better. I like liquid lip. lip <laughs> liquid lipsticks, but. I do enjoy this stick. This is really nice. Hopefully it wears it nice throughout the day like this one does. I mean, these, like, when they say they're super stay, they are super stay. Like, they last all freaking day. These ones are not super stay. They are just... Let me look it up. They are the Color Sensational Ultimate Slim Lipstick. So they're not the super stay like these ones. That's okay, I'm super pumped. I love the color that I chose. This one is in more taupe if I didn't already mention that. I can't quite remember. But y'all, loving it. Super excited about everything I tried out today. I am still blown away by the foundation. Was not expecting it to be that great. I don't know why though. I mean, drugstore, I just always buy drugstore. CoverGirl used to be my absolute favorite. And then I kind of got into Sephora. <laughs> so we can blame Sephora for me not trying any drugstore makeup. <laughs> but I'm glad I had picked this up. I'm glad I've tried it. I'm probably going to use this more often now that I know it's so amazing. And this powder, super, super exciting, super great products. But yeah. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a fantastic evening. Bye.